Hey guys, it's Jimblade through 4 here, and today we're doing a different kind of video. We're doing a top 10 or worst of first. It's kind of both the same because there are 10 entries on this list. It's a worst of first of all of the Ninjago gimmicks, including the Spinners from 2011 and 2012, uh, Spinjitsu Burst, Arcade Pods, Dragon Flyers, Ajitsu Flyers, Spinjitsu Masters, the 2019 Spinners, uh, those Battle Pods, the Booster Packs, all that kind of stuff, and you'll see as we progress through the video what ranks where. But, uh, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not yet already. With that being said, let's get into our first entry on the list at the worst spot with number 10. Starting out at number 10 or the worst Ninjago gimmick is Spinjitsu Burst. These things each all have 48 pieces. There were three of them released in summer of 2020. And they just flat out don't work right. Uh, you'll see on screen now in the video of me trying to get them to work. And they just, they just don't work right. To get them to actually function, you have to remove the minifig, which doesn't make sense. Why have a gimmick that doesn't function right unless you have to remove the minifig, which is actually probably just the main drawing point of the set, because these things don't work and the minifigs are just the best part of them, and that's simple. As you can see, demonstrating them without the minifigs gets them to work a lot better than they do with the minifig inside. And as you'll see on screen in just a second, the minifigs are actually really cool. They are probably the best part of the set. They're Really detailed and really just awesome looking in general. I think some of Ninjago's best figures this year in particular. But it's a shame that they include these figures in a thing that doesn't require the figures to make it work, which just doesn't make sense at all. Then at number 9, or second worst, we have the Spinjitsu Masters uh, from early 2018, January 2018 to be exact. These things, like, they worked okay, like, they were fine. I'm just not a fan because I, I don't know. The, because they were kind of a downgrade to the previous thing that we got, which was the Air Jitsu Flyers at the time, and definitely uh, significant, significantly worse than, I would say, the um, Dragon Flyers, which we got later on in the year, which we'll get to the, both of those later on. I just, these were made for trick shots, and I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of that. They were also $10, and they had like 40 to 60 pieces, if I'm not mistaken. Just overall not a fan of these in general. I can't really say much more than that. Like, they, they were cool. They had they, You could do some trick shots with them, but... Just not a fan of them compared to the other gimmicks that Ninjago has done. Then at number 8, or third worst, depending on how you look at it, that we have the Spinjitsu Slam. Now these use the same system as Spinjitsu Burst, and these were developed uh, an entire year prior to the Spinjitsu Burst. These flat out, they worked better, but I just, the minifigs in these were not the best. Um, Jay, specifically with like the silver and like neon green trans neon green hood combination just didn't look great zane's look cool uh, lloyd's look really cool with the gold and the neon or the bright green or whatever it was and then zane's with the silver and trans blue and kai's as well looked pretty cool i should also mention another thing with these these were also kind of used as like trick shots as like a competitive kind of game thing they didn't come with any cards or anything like the 2011 spinners we'll get to those later but these things like you would fire them off, and in this set in particular, you would fire these other, like, disc things, and you, I guess you would try to avoid hitting them and stay spinning for as long as possible. I wasn't really sure what the whole aspect of these things were. Then at number 7, or 4th worst, again, depending on how you look at it, we have the booster packs from 2012. There were only, like, 5 or 6 of these released. There was one also released as a promotion, being Kendo J. Overall, these things were cool. They were nice, you know, add-ons to the 2012 spinners at the time, you would put like that little rounded brick on the bottom of it to boost it up a little bit, and then you would get these little chain things that you could, you know, use to attack the other spinner, and then like up some shields as well. Overall, pretty cool, but not anything special. At number six or fifth worst, we have the Dragon Flyers from summer of 2018. These things were cool, they were $15, they had they all had 92 pieces, which was, you know, pretty just, I guess cool that all of them had the same piece kind of even though they were all basically the exact same build the minifigs in these were not the greatest things i will admit that um wasn't a huge fan of the minifigs uh, except the golden dragon master of course he was a really cool minifig but these things work cool you can see the demonstration on screen and they they were they were meant to fly i couldn't take them outside and you know launch them because i was i didn't want to get them stuck on the roof i imagine some people had that problem as well so overall, these were cool, but not as cool as the, you know, Air Jitsu Flyers, which these things were kind of based off of. Then at number 5, or 5th best, we have those little pods from, like, 2017 to 20, or 2019, I believe. Two, I believe, Cole and Zane, or Cole, Jay and Zane were all 2018. Lloyd was 2019, 
and Kai was 2017, if I'm not mistaken. So we got these pods. They were pretty cool. Um, they came. They had like an exclusive minifig, which you could just build with other parts from other sets. But overall, these things were cool, and I, I liked them. But they just weren't as good as the arcade pods, which we'll get to right now. At number four or fourth best, we have the arcade pods from early 2020. These were all released in January. They were ten dollars each and had like 48 pieces each, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we got three Kai, Lloyd, and Jay. Each of them had two minifigs, one of which was exclusive, the other which was, you know, common and not the other sets you could get them in the two cheapest non junior sets of the Prime Empire Wave, which were, you know, the Mech Jet and the Speeder and the Velocity Racers, my, my bad. And um Overall, the minifigs were really cool. Like, I really enjoyed the Avatar minifigs. I thought they looked really nice. I wish there was a way you could display, you know, both minifigs in this case at the display time. But as you can see, it, it's a pretty simple build. There's a little just, um, little storage for their weapons. And their torso and legs go up front underneath the cabinet where they're not visible. So, you know, you don't know that there's too many things in there. You can swap them out anytime and play as, you know, like an Avatar like you can see on screen now. Overall, these minifigs were pretty cool, and I hope we get something very similar to this in the future because I really like these. At number three, or third best, we had the Air Jitsu Flyers from summer of 2015 release with the Possession Wave. All of these were $10 and had like 48-ish pieces or something around that. Overall, these were really cool. Like, you could fly. They were the first, you know, Ninjago sets that could fly. There was also another one of these included in Ronin, um, Ronin Rex. Uh, there, there was just another Kai one that was nothing special compared to any of the other ones. Overall, these worked pretty cool. Um, they're also very annoying to your dogs if uh, your dogs like to watch you play with your Lego. And you can see my dogs will just go after and kind of identify it as some like foreign object or something like that. Overall, these were pretty cool. Um, Moro and Wraith also got one. You know, two bad guys and all four ninja. I wish Lloyd got one. But due to his uh, circumstances during possession, he was. I, I can see why they didn't give him one. Also, I can see why they didn't give Neil one because she wasn't officially a ninja until possession. Let's move on to number two. In second place or second best of Ninjago gimmicks, we have the spinners from 2019. There were six of these, and they would range, you know, from 97 pieces, or like around 100 pieces for the individual packs, to around 200 for the for the dual packs. You know, you got two of them, which were pretty cool. You know, to get all of the main characters in a spinner at some point, which was really nice. Uh, these things work decently well. I mean, if you have giant sausage fingers like myself, you see I had a little bit of trouble spinning them. But overall, these things worked okay. I wouldn't say they work great. You could put the bottom of the Spinjitsu, um, the Spinjitsu Slampies on as an alternative and use the Spinjitsu Slam mechanism to, you know, get it to work better. But there were three three modes that I'm sure you guys saw already. There was uh, defense, which you saw speed, which you're seeing right now. And then there was also the attack mode, which I couldn't get to work, and I eventually just gave up on it. But overall, I think these things were really cool. I really liked the way they looked. I liked that you could have three different modes and, you know, battle them out with your friends or something like that. You know, say each of you got, one of you got Kai, one of you got Cole. You know, you could have them train or something, pretend they're training or whatever. Overall, really cool gimmick, and I really hope they do something very similar to this in the future, because we haven't, uh, what we got just wasn't the same. So, at number one, I'm sure none of you saw this as a surprise, uh, the 2011 and 2012 spinners are, I think, Ninjago's best gimmick. These were $10, they all had around 20-ish pieces, um, obviously... It would vary if the spinner came in like you know a two pack, and they would have you know like forty pieces, or if it had an arena, it'd be like sixty pieces or something like that. But overall, I really enjoyed these spinners. Um, it was also the only way to get the Energy Ninja, um, the variants of them at least. And overall, these were just really cool. And like you would you could battle them with your friends, you know, throw down a card and like equip a certain attachment or equip a certain weapon. Like, these are just tons of fun in general, and they came in some, you know, actual sets like the Spinjitsu Dojo and the Lightning Dragon Battle. But I don't think that was too much. I think they balanced it out enough, and I think these just are the best Ninjago gimmick overall. And that's the list. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you, you enjoyed this list. Uh, let me know what your favorite Ninjago gimmick is. Let me know what your least favorite one is. Um, do you think I got the list right? What would you improve? How would you just rank them in general? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And again, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys again. This is Jim Blade at 304, signing off. Bye-bye.